Welcome back everyone to Punny Plays the Brawler where I have reached level 140 and now I need to learn the various ins and outs of what I have here so I can get my equipment up to specs and of course do those tests to see whether or not the brawlers are able to function well at the higher levels. So far I'm finding that... I am not particularly very good at survivability, which seems to at least track with people saying the brawler isn't quite up to snuff at the highest levels yet. Now I'm going to do a couple of missions here to see how I do on those. I should note that I'm finally starting to look into the various buffs here because I've been ignoring many of these and probably because in the past they didn't mean all that much when I was at the lower levels but now I think I need to use them a little bit more. Joy of Battle helps reduce the damage that's coming into me and that could come in handy sometimes so it's only for about 15 seconds but if I'm fighting some tough foes maybe I can remember to click that. Quick Faint helps me to do more damage for 10 seconds. And Get Serious helps me to do more damage also. This is 9.3 seconds. That's because there's a tracery that is helping me with that. And I think maybe also be helping me with the cooldown on here so I could use them a little bit more. Now the one buff I have been using is Weather Blows. This also reduces damage that I'm getting, but I mainly use that as a heal, not really as a buff. The buff is just a side benefit on whenever I'm using the heal. I wish there was a trace read which could knock down that cooldown period, but I don't think I've found one yet. Maybe I better double check to see if I could find one somewhere. And Hell's Hammer, this is not a buff, but it is my corruption removal, so I do have to remember to use that. Now, up here I have items that seem to be more related to groups, so I'm not going to be using those probably. The posture, aggressive posture, I'm probably not going to use that as long as I am a little poor my defenses, because the last thing I need right now is to reduce my defenses even more as a minus 189,000 physical mitigation, and that's a little bit of a problem. The first of the missions that I am doing is Skata's Legacy, where I need to fight a number of Draklings and Worms. Let's see how I do against the, these guys. Uh, let's see if we get them down as quickly as possible, considering that, oh yes, they have this oh summoning ability in here, and we got three at a time in there. Last thing you want is to make it four at a time. There you go, and oh, I survived that. Oh, hello. I didn't really want to get into another battle so soon, but all right. There you go. Now, let's first clear out this direction, then we could go in the other way. And see how well we could clear out this place. And maybe scavenge a few dwarf remains while we are coming along here. So we have Wormlings, Draklings, ouch, and of course, plenty of fire. Let's see if I can get around that, and, oh, hello. So we'll just have to try to get them right away, try the ultimate interrupt. Oh. That's, that's always tricky when I can never get quite used to working these things right. Really don't like facing three at a time on on this class yet. Hmm. Well, oops. All right, you want to interrupt me? I could punch you. There you go. Done. It got five of six. It looks like is it all that you have to do is to find dwarf remains, or I mean, other than of course having to kill many a uh, worm and drake in order to get to them. But it's very often facing 
many of them at the same time. That's the problem here. I really should save that particular one for when they start their summoning. So, oh, actually, I got the cloud. Oh. I can't time that right. And, vicious. Ouch! Stop it! And. Alright, let's. I'm just not timing how to use these skills because I'm. I was trying to. Get the medal for a head helm crusher. I completely forget. Fulgrim Strike is a pretty good interrupt by itself. Is probably the better one to use in such scenarios. All right. And f and of course targeting helps also. Yes, and I think I've managed to get every single. Reinforcement summon you could possibly get in this thing. Stop it! Alright, there, th that might help. Ouch. Uh oh, ouch, 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 Oh, I guess I am actually done with the mission, so let me just get out of here. And during this end, actually, I really don't have... Oh, that's right, I'm 140 now. I actually do get the mission reward box. At lower levels, you don't, so I was used to not getting it whenever I've been doing Gundabad miss missions. Not Gundabad, uh... War Three Peaks missions. The War of Three Peaks missions, they don't give you a chest when you're below 140, while the rest of them do. Don't know why. Until I get better with my interrupts, that mission is going to be a tough one because of all the reinforcement calls and the fact that you're in large groups as they're doing those reinforcement calls. And the last thing I need when I'm playing a brawler is a larger group until I get my defenses up a bit. So let's try Two Heads Are Deadlier, which is filled with trolls. At least here, I think I'm only ever facing one or two at a time. They don't call reinforcements. The twist here is that the commander can have an extra tough ability. Of course, they do have these stuns, which are... which have their own problems. There you go. I really need to get my to send over some food for this character because that's another area where I'm a little short on here is high-level food there you go what oh uh, let, let's try pummeling see how that does yeah, okay hmm. maybe the damage I'm doing against trolls and the like isn't all that impressive which probably tracks with the complaints about the Brawler not being quite up to snuff in doing damage. So maybe it is situations like this where it is getting to be a problem. Alright, there we go. Let's see what we have. Joy of the battle. Oh, yes. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Hey! Hey! Ouch! 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 Oh, well, I actually managed to stun both of them. How nice. There you go. And you? Yeah, fighting two trolls at the same time does have its downfalls. And, oh, alright, let's see. Do you have to stun you? Alright, huh, good. Fortunately, in this case, the downfall is of the trolls and not of myself. Yeah, right. So, yes, those trolls did take a bit of time to, to get down, so that could be a bit of a problem. So, we'll have to see how things are going after update 33 comes out. 
Because that's the idea of the test I'm doing right now, is to try to compare it. Now, it's possible that before update 33 comes out, I might have some improvement by getting some better equipment. Because most of my equipment is level 130 items that you receive when getting Ballard. So I do have a few pieces that I've earned by doing the Gundabad missions. Oh, hello. And those items I didn't open up till I got to 140. So, hey, so they're level 140 items. So I have, actually, right now I guess two, maybe three pieces of that. I'm hoping to get a couple of more as I am progressing. And that I will hope will help a little bit. Let's see what we've got here. And I'm pretty sure that update 33 will be a little bit of help also. I did try the lofts just before this and things are rather brutal in there but the lofts can be brutal if you're not quite ready for it. So I was expecting a few problems over there since things can get rather crowded and sometimes with signatures and elites. And it felt like I was in such a scenario. This character is certainly not ready to do that, at least not without company around. So I was doing reasonably well actually when I had company and not reasonably well when uh, the comp when the company departed from the instance. There you go. Now, looks like I'm taking quite a bit of time in which to heal up in between. But I think a little bit of food will help in that. I do have some Delman Kranz, but I am starting to run low on those. There you go. Hey, 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 hey. Now, one of the things I've noticed in here is that I've been puzzled with a long time is why is it that there seems to be a bit of a lag between the time I hit someone and the time that first strike goes out. I was thinking that the system was just taking its sweet time in deciding that I am below the percentage in there, but I finally figured out that I actually have a a reflect on this guy. I haven't figured out which skill I have, but there's a skill I have that has a reflect. So what's happening is that I throw the mug in there, they hit me a couple of times, and as they're hitting me those first couple of times, they're taking some damage. And so between throwing the mug and the hit that they on me. Ouch. That between those two, they are doing enough damage to bring them below there, and I can't remember which of my abilities. I guess I should really check out my abilities. Maybe I'll do that right after this battle so that I can determine what is this reflect that I got? What's causing it? I better heal up, especially if I get this lag coming along. And actually, stunning him might not be a bad idea. Yeah, he does get stunned. Well, that's nice. Well. Good riddance to him. Now, where's the door? I hope I don't have to go all the way back. Actually, I think he run into him about halfway back or something like that. Something. Something about that matter. I don't know why you have to go so far back in order to reach the dwarf. Ah, yes. He's way, 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 way down here. Don't know why. Oh, well. Let's get out of this place. For my final mission today, I will be doing the archers at the gate. 
But before we head out and start to kill those archers, I think I found out what's doing that extra damage in there. Like a stinging nettle. When a brawler parries or evades an attack, they deal damage to their attackers. So that must be the trait that is creating the damage that I sometimes see happening to opponents in there. Now let's go in here and deal with these. Now these guys unfortunately also have reinforcements, but so I do have to deal with that. Okay, managed to knock them both out and actually time it properly, which is even more impressive, I think. So I have, to, I have to be ready to interrupt him because he has that nasty heal that just got interrupted with the ultimate interrupted. Interrupt? Okay. What happened there? Hmm. Enemies of the Veil? Oh, probably the first fortress in the Veil that I've entered deeply. Alright, well, there we go. Oh. I think I'll need a little bit of rest then because my morale's getting low. Let's now head out this way. And yes, that's an archer. And it looks like the archers, I need to kill all ten archers is the object for this one. No other object, technically. So I probably have to go through a large number of other orcs and the like in order to get my ten archers. Because they like to gang up with each other and the archers are sometimes hard to get to. Actually, they seem to be awful on the side here. So maybe they're not as hard to get to as I thought. Wait, that's twice in a row where I got them both on them because usually I get maybe one or maybe even zero, but getting the full set two times in a row? That's unusual. Alright. And now this... Oh. Yeah, I can just do a headbutt on that one since I had a single target there. Right, here's a warrior, because doing the warriors not necessarily required, but... Might as well get some more practice in. Just for practice, and your turn. Just, I was going to say pummel, but pummel has a technical meaning for a brawler. And let's see, there's a black arrow this way. Oh, up this way. Can I get up here? Y yes. And that, that's only one more left after this. Goodbye, that's nine. Mm, that's going to be a tough one to get. Oh, actually, so that says that there are more than ten of them around. Let's heal up on this. Let's, let's get a joy of battle up there. Let's... Let's get you down. And apparently they summon wargs. I should know that, considering that I did a series going over all these. Yeah, all right. So that, that that's not good. But, oh yeah, that's right. That's why you kill them all in advance. Yes, because because when you retreat, you're gonna need the space. All right. Oh, you, you're you up there still. Hey, can I kill you before you kill me? Yes, I can. All right. Ah. Well, that takes care of the mission. I just have to get back alive. Mm. Well. Hey, would you, you wouldn't mind just letting me through? Fine, I'll just force my way through you. I'm going to say just punch through your defenses. Literally. 
Now, I came in this way. Oh, it's tricky finding. Oh, yes, here is the chest. Since there is a chest, I might as well grab hold of it. And we are done. There is most definitely a great deal of room for improvement. I need to get better at playing the class, and I also need to get better equipment and adjust it to level cap on there. And perhaps I could make some progress on that before the next episode of Piney Plays the Brawler.